Hey, what's up guys? Yako Kuli with Sheepdog Response. Some of you guys may have wondered what it was like to do some ballistic testing at your location or on your own. Here we have two different kind of molds from Clear Ballistics. It's a little bit different. Um, as you can see, these have already been used. They've already been shot up. The cool thing about Clear Ballistics is that they're, they're, they have a longer uh, shelf life, which means that you know, as soon as they come in, you don't have to use them right away. Most other companies you do. Most other companies, you have to use them within two or three days. And once they're shot, they're basically one and done. Uh, with Clear Ballistics, they have a long uh, shelf life. You can shoot them and you can melt them down and remake more molds, right? Um, so that's the cool thing about this. So let's go into that process. Why would somebody want gel at the house, right? So for me as a gun owner, um, as a gun enthusiast, as a bullet enthusiast, you know, you hear about all of these things that a bullet would do. Well, if you get this certain round then, and you shoot something, it's gonna do these things, right? So just for me, just for my own knowledge, I would get something like this just so I could try those rounds and kind of see for myself, you know? I, I can see what the penetration round is. They, they're selling all of these different types of, um, what they call defense rounds or hollow points or hollow points with this in it, hollow points with that in it, different types of uh, grain. Um, getting something from Clear Ballistics like a gel like this is gonna allow me to see exactly what an entry wound will look like or what an exit wound will like would look like, the penetration. It could uh, give me a better understanding of why a nine millimeter might be preferable over a 45 or vice versa. Um, but this is one of those things that you can buy on your own, uh, take it to a safe location, you know, someplace where there's a lot of land or even a range that allows you to do it. And I'm able to actually put those, put those kind of like sciences to practice. So it's not just me reading it off a box or watching somebody else do it. I can actually get the gel on my own, take it to a safe location, uh, make sure I have the proper equipment, obviously, and then uh, practice shooting these different rounds in there. If you're interested in seeing what the rounds that you're carrying your gun is doing and you can't really, uh, you know, instead of shooting a piece of meat or whatever, Clear Ballistics is a great option for that. All right, as you can see, right, Clear Ballistics by its name is a ballistic gel that is, is, re is supposed to be clear. That way, depending on what the kind of rounds that you're shooting into it, you can kind of see the kind of damage it's gonna do, how far it's gonna penetrate, things of that sort. You can shoot these gel blocks with any type of caliber. Whenever you remold these, you, you can see that even some of this dirt, some of these are rocks, the bullets, just like anything else, whatever, whenever you melt these, whatever is lighter than the gel is gonna flow to the top, and whatever is heavier than the gel is gonna, is gonna uh, sink to the bottom. And like a fine cheese, we're just gonna scrape the fromage or the first layer off the top. That, that way, that's the stuff we can't use. And then once the gel solidifies, we flip it over to the other side, and then we are able to scrape off the, uh, let's say the, the rounds or some of the, the metal jacketing that's still inside of these gels. Um, after about two or three times, you're gonna see that the consistency and the clarity of the gel is gonna be a little bit different. Um, all of these are gonna be based on what kind of rounds you're shooting and how much you're shooting in it. But depending on the clarity that you prefer, after about the second or third time that you re remold these things, you might have to buy a, a brand new gel. Okay, so now let's get into the process of getting our, our old gel blocks and making them into new gel blocks. Um, the first thing you can do is Whenever you go on Clear Ballistics, you can purchase this mold for a, about an additional $100. And this is what we're gonna use to get these blocks or even this turkey into a new mold. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is get the ballistics gel and slice it into pieces. Um, if you look, cut it about one or two inches wide all the way through, that way it's easier to melt down. After you cut the ballistic gel into these pieces, you're gonna put it back into the mold or put it into the mold. Make sure that it doesn't go over the edge because you will get some leakage there. Um, but you're gonna put it into the mold and then you're gonna put that mold into the oven at 260 degrees and let it cook for about four hours. So now we're back, right? So as you can see, this was our first gel block, the one that we originally had um, that came in this shape. And as you can see, after, uh, cooking for so for about four hours in the uh, in the oven this is kind of what we uh, developed here you can see that all of this set a lot of this sediment was at the bottom it's still a little bit cloudy but it's still going to serve the purpose that we're going to you that we need it for as far as how far of our penetration is going to be um, the, the clarity of seeing where how far the bullet went in um, you can still see some of the uh, the gunpowder smoke in there from uh from the from the round going inside and expanding but this is a very usable um, clear ballistics gel. On this side, we have what was the turkey. It's a little bit clearer. Um, it's a lot less dirty because this was actually sitting on, on, on a piece of plastic. 
as opposed to this was sitting on a table. And all of the uh, wood chips that was on the bottom still has settled in there a little bit. Obviously, if I wanted to go through the trouble, I could easily cut off that um, a little bit of that. But as you can see, it's at the bottom. It's not going to get in the way of anything that we need to do. But now that we've remelted and reformed our gel block, and we've kind of done the same thing with the, the turkey, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of this mold and kind of see where we're at as far as the turkey is concerned. We found that the best way to do it is to get your fingers into one side of it and kind of pummel your, your hand to the bottom. And as we're doing that, we're gonna like pull this into ourselves. Um, I think it helps a little bit too. You can see already see it's coming out. Is as we progress to go ahead and pull some of the sides up as well. I just wanna get as much air in here as possible. Now, once I've got the bottom of the gel block, it's all just a matter of folding it upon itself, just like this. Don't hit yourself in the face. Now that we've popped the thing out, you can see it'll come right out of the mold, just like that. This is actually easier than the last one. But again, look at the difference in clarity between the turkey that was sitting on something and the clear ballistics block that was sitting on the wood. All right, so there you have it. How to use, reuse, remold clear ballistics uh, gel. Um, shout out to clear ballistics. Um, they sent these out to us, all right, we didn't have to pay for them, but you know, we're partnering with them and obviously it's a great product. Um, their uh, website is gonna be in the description below. So make sure you guys follow those guys, check out their, their stuff. Um, if you have anything to say, if you have experience with this or you have any other questions, please hit us up in the comments. Send us an email at info at sheepdogresponse.com. Other than that, keep coming back to Sheepdog Responses uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook for more content. We'll see you guys on the range, man. Have a good day.